Hi, welcome to GTEC. Now we are going to see about cell structure and function. The basic structure of a cell. All cells at the essence have at least three things in common. First one is cytoplasm, second one is nucleus and third one is mitochondria. Here is the cell structure and it has mitochondria, cytoplasm and ribosomes. Nucleus is here and DNA is represented. Let us discuss about cell theory. All living things are made up of cells. The cells are the basic unit of structure and functions in an organism that is basic unit of life. A cell comes from reproduction of existing cell that is cell division. You can see the cell division and basic unit of life over here. Let's see about cell size and types. The cell has the basic unit of organism and it can only be absorbed under microscope. You can see the microscope over here. The three types of cells are animal cells, plant cells and bacterial cells. You can see it over here. Let us discuss about cell size. Typical cells range from 5 to 50 micrometers in diameters. Here the relative size of cells and their components are depicted over here. These levels are seen through the electron microscope and light microscope. Now we are going to see about prokaryotes. It is nothing but a nuclear region contains the DNA. You can see the nucleot and inside of the nucleot the DNA is represent. It is surrounded by cell membrane and cell wall. You can see the cell membrane over here. It contains ribosomes in the cytoplasms to make proteins. Now we are going to see about eukaryotes. Eukaryotic cells have nucleus and membrane bound organelles. It is more complex types of cell. It includes protists, fungi, plants and animals. Now let's see about cell or plasma membrane. Cell or plasma membrane composed of double layer of phospholipids and proteins. You can see the double layer phospholipids and proteins. It is surrounded outside of all cells and it controls what enters or leaves the cell. It is a living layer. Now we are going to see about phospholipids. It helps contain glycerol and phosphate and are hydrophilic that is attract water. Its stains are made up of fatty acid and are hydrophobic that is triple water. It is mainly make up a bilayer where stains point inward towards each other. You can see the tails point inward. And here's head and tail. Let us discuss about cell wall. A cell wall it is found in plants, fungi, and bacteria, and it supports and protects the cell. It is made up of cellulose in plants and peptidoglycan in bacteria and chitin in fungi. The chitin structure is given here and cellulose peptidoglycan is over here.
Now we are going to see about cytoplasm of a cell. Cytoplasm is a jelly like substance enclosed by a cell membrane. You can see the cytoplasms. It looks like a gel and it provides a medium for chemical reaction to take place. Now we will see about the cell structure. This is the cell. You can see here the outer surface is called cell membrane and this is called cytoplasm. It is a DNA. It contains a flow of a DNA. In DNA it is like this. It contains eukaryote cell which is nothing but this portion is called the eukaryote cell. All plant cells have eukaryotic cell. You can see here this is a prokaryotic cell. It is full of DNA. You can see here and this portion that is it cover the DNA that is called the genetic material. You can see here it forms the bacteria. The full portion is called the organelle that is a little organ. You can see how the cell structure will be. Inside of the cell structure that is inside of the nucleus you can see the DNA this is the structure of DNA you can see it clearly here inside of DNA it contains chromatin the outer surface is called a nuclear membrane the chromatin is fully made up of chromosome you can see the chromosome here it contains the nucleus over here you can see it and from the nucleus it spread the ribosomes all over the organelle you can see how the ribosome spread all over the organelle and this portion is nothing but a cytoplasm you can see how the cytoplasm is. These are the ribosomes that is spread all over and this portion is called a rough endoplasmic reticulum and this portion is called a smooth endoplasmic reticulum. You can see that and this is nothing but a protein you can see the protein is here the separate protein is called a vesicle you can see the vesicle and this is Golgi apparatus the proteins all are attached to the Golgi apparatus and inside of the Golgi apparatus the protein is perform like that you can see how the protein react with and now this lipid is attached to the protein that is called carbohydrate and now here you can see plant cell animal cell it contain vacuole and it does not contain the vacuoles here you can see the central vacuole that is plant cell contains the central vacuole but animal cell it does not contain vacuole. Here you can see the lysosome. You can see how the lysosome are. You can see it clearly. And this red color portion is nothing but mitochondrion. In mitochondrion, contains a cellular respiration you can see how the cellular respiration is carried out in mitochondria 
in organelle it contains cytoskeleton that is nothing but you can see here the microfilaments this is called cytoskeleton and also you can see the microtubules each and every plants have the plant cell inside it you can see that it contains a plant cell in plant cell it has the chloroplast you can see the chloroplast inside of the chloroplast it has the chlorophyll which is used for the photosynthesis process and it has a cell wall that is outer surface and inner surface is called cell membrane but in animal cell it contains only a cell membrane they do not have cell wall here you can see the movement of heart blood here you can see the bacteria the tail portion is called flagella you can see the movement of bacteria over here and this is nothing but the sperm cells eukaryotic cell the plant and animal cell with the nucleus and membrane that is enclosed organelles but in the prokaryotic cell it is a unicellular organisms without a nucleus or membrane that is enclosed organelles but all cells have a cell membrane cytoplasm and genetic material both plant and animal cell have mitochondria you can seen it before 